this clip is to invite contributions for next week. That's to say the 26th of uh, November. Um, because I'm working on another play, which is a sort of reworking of a walk on the Lancaster University spine. Um, the, the occasion is that uh, Ben Williamson will be talking on the 25th. Whether he's in Lancaster or not, I don't, I don't know. Um, but he'll be talking about platform universities, uh, which I, I take to include the MOOC scene and, and uh, th things like that. Um, and this is a way of, of uh, discussing issues around that. So I, I, I earlier had a walk which went from the info lab at one end of the campus along the spine um, through the central your library and learning zone bit and then on towards the uh, education and humanities and arts at the the other end so this walk would be in the other direction starting out um, at the arts end and heading towards the info lab via the business school so any any bits of mp3 would be very welcome that could fit into this um, the only complication is the the pre-record will be edited together this coming weekend and then uploaded uh, for broadcast on Thursday and the, Ben Williamson is either in Lancaster or near a Zoom facility uh, the Wednesday before so it, it, it'll all be a bit disjointed but I think that's how, how things are now there's just bits of mp3 available as social media and the exact day of a an official broadcast or something is well I'm I've I mean I've just been in lockdown for a little while now and it's all getting very confusing uh anyway um in Exeter it's still student accommodation as buildings in the city uh anybody listening from phonic fm or locally that's still a topic, uh, but the the main thing will be a, w a walk along the spine of uh, Lancaster in the same sort of way as um, the play CD Walk set in Central Exeter. There's there's um, just like the the, the lack of uh, retail CD shops, there will be a couple of sites to to consider on on the walk uh, the first one is the making time garden uh, which has been demolished now so there's there's another garden there and so the, there could be memory of the making time garden and the question what what so uh, what what was the sense of the the use of money in demolishing it to make way for another garden the the, the spine is is very impressive as architecture but it, it did cost quite a bit, as did the new building part of the management school. So that would be another site to look at what investment there has been in platforms from uh, UK universities over the last five, yeah, let's say five years. Um, so that would that would be a sort of focus for a, another topic, and then um, getting to the info lab, look at technology that um, might give another angle on the MOOC scene. So if, if you do conclude uh, there's something missing with the MOOCs, they're too vocational or too technology or business orientated, um, if you wanted to do a new one that was uh, more acceptable in some way, is there any technical angle that might fit in? Um, not not sure how how strong that is as a topic of interest to people, but it seems to me a good uh, good topic by the time you get to the info lab. Um, so an, an actual walk might happen probably summer next year, but in the meantime, uh, any any bits of MP3 that would fit in, very welcome. <laughs>